Okay, in this video we're going to have a look at how we use the, this cumulative distribution function, the CDF, to work out um, percentiles, deciles, um, uh, the median, and quartiles. Okay, so uh, that, that is a key use of the cumulative distribution function, the CDF. Um, just a quick recap uh, as to what the CDF is and, and what the PDF is and what the difference between them is. So the, remember PDF probability density um, function, uh, that has an area of 1 and the area underneath the curve under a particular domain represents the probability. Okay, so... Um, and what the cumulative distribution function is, is it, we do an integral. Um, we do an integral um, from the lower from the lower bound, whatever the lowest bound is. It could be negative infinity to x of uh, the PDF. PDF. Um, uh, so basically, what the cumulative distribution function is is something that um, can tell us what is the probability of getting uh, that score and less okay so what the you can sub in a value for x and I'll tell you the probability of getting that score and less okay with the CDF okay so that's a quick recap now let's push on to page 12 so a key key um, use of the CDF is to calculate medians quartiles percentiles deciles okay um, so I'll focus in on the median at first and tell you how this sort of thing works. Um, remember when we were looking at discrete data, you can uh, have a cumulative function, which is a function, it keeps increasing because it's that score, how many, the frequency of that score and below. Here I've plotted the, the cumulative of the relative frequency, which remember relative frequency is like experimental probabilities. So it goes up to one. Uh, the reason why it goes up to one is that, or if you add up all the experimental probabilities, it'll add to one. If you want to work out the median, you go to the halfway point where it's 0 0.5. You go across and you read off the score. Okay, so that's how you would find the median from for discrete data for a cumulative frequency. For continuous data, um, it works in a very, very similar way. You would use um, the cumulative distribution function which uh, I've drawn a random function here and I've kind of sketched its cumulative uh, distribution function. And you can see once, like, like the discrete one, it goes to a value of one. Okay, and the median would represent uh, for the CDF of 0 0.5, what would be the score? And that would be the median. Okay, um, if you're thinking about in terms of the PDF, the median is, uh, remember the middle point, so 50% uh, of the scores are below and 50% of the scores are above. Okay, so you can see where the median would lie here on the PDF and um, next door on the CDF. So that's the kind of visual in your head that you should have. But uh, how to actually do the calculation, very, very simple once you've worked out the CDF. Um, so if, if, for example, they want to know what's the first quartile, you put in 0 0.25 uh, for capital F of X. If you want to work out the median, put in uh, F of X, uh, the CDF is 0 0.5, solve for X. Third quartile, the CDF is 0 0.75, solve for X. Six decile, so decile, um, deci means 10, so that, that's six tenths of the scores. So uh, six tenths is 0 0.6. And likewise here, 15th percentile, percentile means per 100. So 15 out of 100 gives you the 0 0.15. Okay, um, occasionally uh, we see this notation with uh, pi and then a, a number down the bottom to represent the pth percentile, okay? I think uh, because pi begins with p and percentile begins with p, some, sometimes you see this notation, but it's, it's reasonably rare. Um, I'll show you the way that I, I write it when we do a question. Okay, so... Um, for the continuous probability uh, density function defined as um, f of x equals x squared uh, over 21 in the domain 1 to 4, find the median, the first decile, and the 38th percentile. So the first thing is they've given us the PDF. Uh, if I want to work out all these things, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the CDF. Okay, so the CDF is going to be capital F of x 
which will be the integral uh, from the lower limit in the domain, which is 1, to um, a letter X of the PDF, okay? And I like to just quickly um, uh, change change the letter. So I'm going to write F of T, uh, DT, just helps avoid a confusion with the top X there. So that's going to be uh, T squared on 21 DT. And when we integrate that, it'll be T cubed on, if we divide by 3, that'll be 63. And then X and 1. And now just substituting in, we get X cubed on 63 minus 1 on 63. Or I'll combine that. I uh, get my CDF to be X cubed minus 1 on 63. Okay, now that I've worked out my CDF, I can work out um, the, the, what the three things of the question are asking me. So firstly, median, we set the CDF, the F of X, to be 0 0.5. Okay, so we get 0 0.5 equals X cubed minus 1 on 63. And it's just a matter of solving this now for X. Okay, so just solving like normal. And taking the cube root there to work out x. Okay, now I put that in my calculator and I got 3.19 to 2dp. So the median for this particular uh, PDF will be 3.19 to 2dp. Next one, um, B, the first decile. So decile is out of 10. So if it says first decile, that means 1 out of 10. Okay, first decile. Uh, would mean 1 out of 10. And I like to use decimals, okay? I really like to use decimals. You don't have to write a fraction into your calculator, okay? So uh, we're basically setting f of x equal to 0 0.1, and we're going to work out what score will give us that first uh, decile. Okay. Uh, so 0 0.1 equals... Um, and then we, we're, we're substituting into this rule here. So x cubed minus 1 on 63 times by 63... Add one and take the cube root. Okay, oops, that should be times. And then cube root that. Okay, and when I did that, I got uh, 1.94 to 2dp. Makes sense that uh, the first decile, which is basically uh, uh, the lower 10% of the scores, where, 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 does, where does that lie? It, is, it should be lower than the median, right? Because the median should be the middle. Okay, so a score of 1.94 kind of makes sense to me. Next one, the 38th percentile. That should be kind of between the first decile and the median because uh, the 38th percentile, we need to set f of x equal to 0 0.38. So I'm expecting some score between 1.94 and 3.19. Okay, so part C, uh, put 0 0.38 for uh, our CDF, and then we solve for X. So times by 63, add 1 and take the root, okay, cube root. Okay, um, and I got 2.92 to two decimal places, and that sort of uh, it was what I sort of expected, because I expected it to be between 1.94 and 3.19. Okay, um, you can see how um, we are getting use out of our CDF. Um, you know, so much easier rather than integrating many times to integrate once at the beginning and then just substitute in the, the relevant appropriate numbers. Okay, uh, let's do another example. And this one's a uniform PDF because we can see f of x is a constant. So this is a uniform PDF. Um, so let x be a continuous random variable with the following uh, PDF. Uh, f of x is equal to that between uh, 0 and 2. What are the lower quartile, median, and upper quartile? Okay, so lower quartile, we're going to be setting f of x equal to 0 0.25. Uh, median is f of x equals 0 0.5. And upper quartile, f of x will be... Uh, 0 0.75 okay but before we do that we need to work out capital f of x which is the integral um, from the lower limit and the lower limit in this question is 0 to x of f of t dt okay so 0 to x of a half dt integrating that will be um, t on 2 and then limits from 0 to x that'll be x on 2 minus 0 on 2 so my CDF is simply 
uh, x on 2. Okay, substituting in 0 0.25 for f of x. So this will be the lower quartile. Um, I'll call that q1 for lower quartile. Um, so q1 will be the x value um, when f of x is 0 0.25. So x on 2 times by 2, we get x is 0 0.5. So that's my q1. Uh, next, the median, which is q2. Um, we're going to set f of x equal to 0 0.5. So x on 2, times by 2, x will be 1. So that's my q2 is 1. And then the upper quartile, setting f of x, capital F of x to be 0 0.75. Uh, we get that x is uh, 1.5. So the upper quartile here is 1.5. So for this distribution, um, q1 is 0 0.5, q2 is 1, and q3 is 1.5. And look, because this distribution is from 0 to 2, the original PDF, um, it's a uniform function. I'm not at all surprised that the, the median here is 1 because 50% would be lower, 50% would be higher. I'm not at all surprised that um, the Q1 is a half because that represents a quarter. That area would be a quarter of the scores. And I'm not at all surprised that the Q3 is 1.5 uh, because this here would represent three quarters of um, the area under the curve. All right, uh, what I'd like you to do, mass and focus exercise uh, 1404, question three to six. See you in the next video.